It's Thursday night. What does that mean? It's time for the one and only high school football show in Southeast Michigan. It's time for the State Champs Scoreboard. Presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Give us a call at 248-539-9797 and sound off on tonight's games. Watch the live stream now on the State Champs Facebook page. Celebrating seven years on the radio, talking Southeast Michigan high school football. And now exclusively on 97.1 The Ticket, here are your hosts, Lauren Plant, Tom Markowski, Kevin Moore, and Lauren Jabara. Well, it's a very good evening, Southeast Michigan. Welcome to another jam-packed episode of the State Champ Scoreboard here on 97.1 The Ticket. You can watch the show right now live on Facebook. This is a very special Thursday night edition of the Scoreboard. I'm Lauren Plant. If you're just finding us for the first time, where you been? That's all right. We're here throughout the entire high school football season every Friday night from 10 to midnight or immediately following Tigers baseball. Here's what we bring to the table. Scores. We'll have coaches, recruiting experts here in the studio and on the phone. We talk to players, and we want to talk to you, okay? The high school football fans. The number is 248-539-9797. And I just have to say right off the bat, we thank Lawrence Technological University. It's because of the fine men and women who believe in this show and all of our shows that make this possible. So go to ltu.edu to learn all about one of the Midwest's best kept secrets when it comes to higher education. They also have 19 varsity sports for both men and women. So go to ltuathletics.com to get enlightened. Uh, we have some a deep sense of gratitude. Also, uh, we send to Meyer and to Hungry Howie's. They are also responsible for this program. Now, here's what we got. Good stuff. Listen up. We have two pairs of tickets to give away for the Tuesday night, September 13th game versus Minnesota. These are Tigers tickets. We have Hungry Howie's Pizza and a $50 gift certificate for lunch or dinner at Fifth Avenue in Royal Oak. Who else is hooking you up like that anywhere on the radio? Nobody. But you got to interact with the show in order to win. We're not just going to give out a random number for you to call in and all of a sudden you're going to get the tickets we want you to participate in this show we have a full room of hosts here to help us all season long if you're watching the web show you'll see tom markowski's arm is in a sling how you holding up buddy um the painkillers <laughs> are doing their job i haven't done them tonight though i wanted to keep a clear head for this big night of football well, that's smart. Uh, There's some really good scores. Wait till yeah. we get them out there. We're going to get it out there. Tom, of course, the guru of high school sports. Read his features, rankings, analysis at statechampsnetwork.com. Lauren Jabara, our res resident Wolverine. She hosts the one and only rap for the Pistons online, and she's the in-arena host for the Red Wings, and you can see her on our local high school football show, Extra Points, Saturdays at 10 a.m. on WXYZ. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful Thursday night. I'm ready to talk about football. All right. and, her, and her brother won another football game. And my brother game. won another football game, so, so I was pretty excited, too. Happy. <laughs> Brother's the kicker at Country Day, yeah. so they're very excited. Very proud. Kevin Moore will soon be a Wayne State graduate. He was a college athlete, Detroit Renaissance graduate. What's up, Kevin? How you doing? We're glad to be here. Make sure you guys stay in tune for my PSA report later. That's right. It's coming up later in the show. Henry Greening is our feelers producer. Paul Tim Roberto. Well, Tim was here before uh, helping us out behind the glass. Uh, we appreciate them. Tom, who do we have coming on the show this week? Uh, the one and only Alan True of Scout.com. Uh, head coach at Rochester Adams, Tony Petrito, a longtime friend. And I would think one of the front runners for the Mr. Football Award, that's my opinion, that would be Khalil Pimpleton out of Muskegon, who had an outstanding first week. Absolutely. All right. It is scores time. Can we cue the sounder? Do you got that, Paul? Okay. Oh, every, yeah. Every time you hear that, that means scores are coming up. Lauren's got some of the bigger matchups took place tonight. I do. Well, let's start off with number eight, Utica Eisenhower, upsetting number two, Macomb, Dakota, 26 to 13. That game at Dakota, we were there last week, and mm -hmm. Dakota looked good against St. Mary's, but uh, apparently Kaiser Carlton, their fine running back, did not play tonight. We were discussing that, Lauren, and I did mm -hmm. watching that. If they did not have him in the lineup, that's a different football team. I'm not taking anything away from Eisenhower, mind you. Obviously, they had a big win the week before as well against uh, Plymouth, but... Dakota's a different team without Carlson. Mm -hmm. 
We have number 11, Wald Lake Western, squeaking by Canton, 33-30. to 30. Mm-hmm. Canton actually missed a 47-yard field Another goal to Another great game between two rivals. That's that's tough stuff out there. Mm-hmm. We have River Rouge, two number 20 River Rouge, shutting down Ann Arbor here on 70, not 17, 70 to nothing. I guess Corey Parker had to rest his <laughs> game there a little bit. We have another shutout, Dearborn, upsetting number 21 Belleville, 15 to nothing. We have Deer, number 23, Dearboard Fordson over Dearboard Edsel Ford, 48 to 20. And number 25, Northville, 20 over Brighton, 10. And right. we'll hear from uh, Matt Laddick, the coach at Northville, later in the show. Uh, big win, 2 and 0 Northville now. Yeah, big big win. Beat Brighton tonight. Yeah. So uh, we'll have Matt Laddick always entertaining. And yes, if you've, he is. If you've seen his uh pre-game antics and i'll just call him that he's a motivator uh, he's a motivator and we've got another motivator in here uh who's going to be in studio a little later for us uh, we just love the pre-game speeches especially when they're passionate uh, uh, I spent the first half at the uh, showdown in Down River uh, today, expecting a much better game on paper. It was wind out at Allen Park. Allen Park wins this one 38 uh, 0. They said this game could be the two best teams Down River this year. Uh, if that's the case, Allen Park is definitely the cream of the crop, uh, led by their quarterback, Antonio Mangiapani. As uh, a senior now, he's been playing since he was a sophomore. Talked to uh, Coach Hoover, uh, who was there at the game on the sideline. I just want to say, too, off the bat, that. Um, I love the old stadiums like Allen Park still got the grass field. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, it's, it's not too big a stadium. The press box is, you know, small, uh, but it just has that kind of like small town feel that uh, it's just special. I'm and, with you. I'm with you. And it, take that further. Novi was the last school in the KLA to go to turf. They always had grass. And I thought that was a mistake. I thought they, you know, there's reasons why they did it, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm a purist. And St. Mary's the same way. They used to have a beautiful grass field. Now it's this red stuff that I have to wear sunglasses to watch the football games. So anyway, times yeah. change. Coming into the game, I mean, we really did think these uh, this was going to be a great game based on week one. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Wyandotte, yeah. Roosevelt took care of Gibraltar Carlson right. their first game, 34-6. And then you have Allen Park shutting out Taylor Kennedy. Well, not shutting up, blowing them out 40 to 6. So I definitely thought this was going to be a well fought game. Yeah, they did shut them out, but that's beside the point. Kennedy is really, yeah, the, really the bottom feeders in that league. There's, there's no reason to believe anybody could see this coming. Yeah. A wind out was, in many people's minds, the favorite coming into the season in that league. As and, they usually are. Right. And 38 to nothing. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, absolutely. Like Drosky did for Dakota, who was the real uh, MVP um, besides Jalen Hall last week. Uh, he did have his uh, his uh, compadre, the receiver, uh, Ryan Fish, who was uh, catching balls and making plays, uh, too. Uh, Manjapani had an interception in the first half. It really was it was 24 nothing at the end of the first half. And um, Allen Park just playing well. Obviously, they've got a brand-new coach. Hoover's mm-hmm. not there. Uh, but uh, it was a good win for them. And we've got more scores that are coming up in just a, a minute. Um, but we really want this to be an interactive show. We definitely do, you guys. We want you guys to call in and give your school a shout-out to talk with us about different scores that you've heard. Call us, 248-539-9797. We're giving away Tigers tickets to people who are interacting with us. One in the first, or one pair in the first hour, one pair in the second hour. You guys can also interact with us on Twitter or watch us on Facebook Live. If you tweet at us with the hashtag hashtag SC scoreboard show on either the Facebook page or our Twitter page. You guys get entered in to win those tickets. So we definitely want to hear from you post on the Facebook live video. We will answer your comments. Even we don't, even if we don't get to it, you guys are in the running for our tickets. Absolutely. So. There's, hey. no, there's no doubt about it. And uh, we also have, um, I think we just did. You went through our top 25 scores. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let me, uh, let me get to this. Um, we have got uh, local teams that are competing. What What is it that uh, the scores that you have, Kevin, that we can get to? Well, I have the games that will be on uh, Extra Point Saturday. Let's That's, get those. Okay, so, yeah, these games, you can check out these games on Extra Point Saturday, Channel 7 at 10 a.m. So reading down the list, we have U of D beating Ann Arbor Pioneer 20-7. to 7. I was at most of that game. I left that to the third quarter. Just want to chime in here. And I'm sure a lot of people, including myself, thought Pioneer was going to bounce back after losing to Muskegon. UAD dominated on the offensive line and the defensive line. It was 20 to nothing before Pioneer got on the board. Um, and UAD should be 3-0. and They have a Canadian team next week. I don't remember okay. the name of the Canadian team. It doesn't matter. Um, but this team is really good. Scotty Nelson did not play their best player by all regards. 
Um, he has a little bum ankle, but he'll be ready um, in a week or two. Um, this is a really good team. Mm -hmm. um, Pat Donnelly's basketball team, we all know what they did last year. Six of his players are playing football, which I love. I love those multi-sport yeah. athletes. Go yeah, ahead. Take it away, Kevin. Thank you. As Lauren Jabbar said, reading her games, we had Dearborn blowing out Belleville 15-0. to zero. Northfield took care of Brighton 20-10. to 10. Algonac beat Almont 14-7. to 7. Lakeland beat Milford 28 to 27 in a close one. We had Utica Eisenhower beating Dakota 26 to 13, and this game was a real close one. Lavonia Stevenson beat Lavonia Churchill 24 to 21. Stevenson picked off the ball in, in the end zone to end that game, so that was a very exciting game. And we have Allen Park beating Wyandotte Roosevelt 38 to zero. Those are some really good games for Channel Seven on Saturday mornings. Those are great highlights there. Absolutely, and we've got a few more for uh, games tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow we will be having Detroit Edison at Detroit Leadership Academy, Oak Park at Birmingham Groves, and Clarkston at Southfield a &T. So all those games we'll be able to see this Saturday at 10 a.m. on WXYZ Channel 7. Thank you, Kev. As we go to bro break, Lauren. Yep. Well, you guys, after break, we're going to be talking about our Hungry Howie's Mr. Football race and even to one of our candidates, Khalil Pimpleton. We'll talk to Rochester Adams head coach Tony Petrito and much more. Also, you guys, don't forget we have Tigers tickets for those who are interacting with us. Make sure to call in 248-539-9797. We're going to get your name and number, and one of you guys will win a pair of tickets before 11 p.m. You guys are listening to State Champs Scoreboard on 97 Won the Ticket. We want you. We want the cynic, the skeptic, and the